Jilly clearly had a meaning for her madness. Hey guys, it's Nikki and today I have a book review for you. Today we will be reviewing The Nanny by Jilly McMillan. First I want to say thank you so much to HarperCollins Canada for sending this book my way. Ashley, if you're watching, thank you. It means so much to me. The Nanny is a psychological thriller and it is set to release on September 10th. You guys, mark your calendars you are gonna wanna go and pick this up. While showing this book on my bookstagram, or while talking to people about what I was currently reading, so many people told me how much they adore Jilly and her writing. Now, for me personally, this was my first read of Jilly's ever, and I think I'm hooked. I may have to create like a Jilly list where I go and check out other books that she's got out there. This was fantastic. I gave it four out of five stars. I'm going to read the synopsis for you, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on this wonderful read. On a warm night in summer 1988, Hannah, the Holt family's nanny, left Lake Hall without a trace, devastating seven-year-old Joe. Haunted by the loss of the woman she loved more than anything, Jo grew up blaming her beautiful aristocratic mother, Virginia. 30 years later, in the wake of tragedy, Jo returns to her faded childhood home and is forced to confront her troubled relationship with Virginia. But the fraught peace between mother and daughter frays when a human skull is accidentally discovered in the lake behind the house. The first of several shocks that rock the estate. Suddenly, Jo finds herself questioning everything and learns that one by one, her childhood recollections may not be what they seem. Desperate to piece together the holes in her memory, Jo must uncover who the nanny really was, why she left, and if she can trust her own mother. You want to go out and buy it, right? You want to read this right now, right? Well, like I said, mark your calendars. September 10th, it will be on shelves. This was fantastic. Now, before I get into my thoughts, the cover alone just captivates you. It is eerie, the colors, the silhouette in the background, and seeing the lake in the bottom. I live for this cover. The nanny just gets darker and darker and darker as you go. As the plot thickens, you start to think you know exactly what happened and who's to blame, and then something happens and throws you a complete twist. Am I falling head over heels for the wrong character? Should I I be sympathizing with this character or should I be threatened by this character? The nanny is read from a few different perspectives. All of the perspectives merge together so you get a sense of what's happening from everybody's point of view. Now I have to say the only con I had with the nanny is because it is told by multiple perspectives that sometimes within somebody's perspective it would go from being within the current time to jumping into the past. There were points where I would have to go back and reread, um, or I would have to keep going and see if things start to make sense as they go. There were a few areas where I thought it was just kind of you know, filler. It didn't really need to be in there. But at the same time, it sets up for who the bad guy is and why the bad guy is the bad guy. So I could also understand why it was in there. Jilly clearly had a meaning for her madness. This was so well put together. Her writing is amazing. Right from the prologue, right from the first sentence, I was hooked. I wanted to know what was happening. I wanted to find out who the bad guy was. I didn't want to put it down until I knew who was what and what happened. And when I got to the end, you guys, there was an explosion. I was not prepared for what was about to go down. No one could be prepared for what was about to go down in The Nanny. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think so many people would enjoy this. The characters are so well-rounded. So if you are a reader that really connects with characters in your stories, if you are somebody that's more into the story or the plot, I really think you would enjoy this because everything is described so well. It's not overly wordy, but everything is placed and put together and meshes just perfectly. There's enough description, history, and background on each character as well. Mark your calendars, run out September 10th, go and grab this, or jump on and pre-order it. I don't think you will be disappointed. I know I am looking forward to checking out more of Jilly's work. That's all I'm going to say for today. I don't want to give away any spoilers. If you like this video and you are not already, please subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell icon, and I will see you guys all in my next video.